Hey everyone, Meowcity here. We're back playing Vampire Survivors today, trying to do a kind of interesting episode here today. I've been kind of on a kick doing one weapon max challenges, so we're going to be doing that on many a moon spell, seeing if we can get his 100,000 kill challenge. While also doing something in Green Acres, it says to walk off the edge of the map in it. So we're going to be trying to do that. I'm not entirely sure where we have to walk off the edge of the map, but it says we have to do that. I'm also going to be putting on hyper and hurry mode just to try to speed things up. I'm not sure if that's related to anything, but we're going to be doing it anyway. And just because it goes well with what I want to do with them, I'm going to be putting on Boogaloo of Illusion, gaining plus 1% area every level. So let's get started. So I've tried this level a few times now, practicing it and trying to see what all it's about, because I think I've only done it on recording once or twice. And I found a few interesting things out. Um, it's probably common knowledge to a few of the more veteran vampire survivor players, but I didn't realize that not only was it random enemies, but it's random enemy waves. So these floating skulls are not always going to be floating skulls for the first wave, and the tree men are not always going to be tree men for the first wave. Um, we're going to get that candelabra door just because we need it for the Boogaloo of Illusions and for the uh, Four Seasons upgrade. I am also going to be upgrading these as much as possible whenever they're available. Getting other things secondary right now. I believe I also need the spinach to upgrade it. Because at one run I actually somehow got... Um, the four seasons upgraded at six minutes somehow. I'm not sure how that was a thing, but it was, so we can try to replicate that. So let's get four seasons area up again, just because we can. Taking more things out faster is a good thing, just with those explosions. Candelabrador up again. Uh, the other items I was kind of thinking about were the um, empty tome, of course, so we can fire things off faster. The spellbinder, I think, just adds damage to this, so we're probably going to be going with that. A trapdoor, probably, so we can get things from farther away eventually. That's going to be pretty big for getting healing items when we need it. Um, other than that, I'm not too sure what we're going to be getting, but... We'll figure it out when we get there. Maybe Tarona's box. And I'm hoping I can hit that, the invincibility, pretty quickly. Because <laughs> then we can just keep running into people. I, I'm not too interested in anything from there right now. I may come back for the armor later. And there's our Candelabrador for area up. That's going to be big. We're going to get the four seasons up again. I'm going to get this guy out of the way. Candelabrador is maxed for area, so we can just kind of go on the spree right now. Spinach up. seasons for more area let's get this mantis down for that chest i want oh our invulnerability we're off kind of was expecting that just not so soon i'm gonna break out just so i don't take as much damage i know that was quite a bit but it could have been much worse We're just going to kind of keep going like this. I'm going to get this Clover just because luck is good. Might help me get healing later on. And as best as I can determine, the four seasons just kind of hits the corners on your screen. Someone might be able to correct me on that. But yeah, um, not sure if there's a specific order to it. 
because to me it doesn't really seem like it. Maybe it goes from top right or top left to top or bottom right, but sometimes it seems to change it up, I think. There we go. Invulnerability back. I kind of want the crown as well. Um, that's going to be the one time I maybe change this because the faster we level up, the better. Because of the limit breaking. Crown to level up faster once again. Crown to level up faster. Is that level 4, level 5, it's maxed out. And that is a wonderful thing. Four seasons at level 7. Let's grab this chest. That's four seasons at level 8. That means it's maxed out, I believe. And I think think we can start getting other items now. So I was contemplating getting the wings just so we can move faster, especially in invincibility mode, but then I saw that we were already moving at 100% movement and I'm not sure we can move faster than that. Duplicator I'm not sure is going to help. So let's get the empty tome for now. Um, especially since we're on endless mode, I'm not too worried about getting curse. Attract action. Now let's get that spellbinder like I had mentioned because I'm pretty sure that translates to damage. And now we just kind of need a chest for the evolution. So we're just kind of leveling up whatever right now. There's going to be our chest. Um, when I start limit breaking, I'm going to be kind of picky and not... Oh, we got a triple. Very nice. So there's our go die shuffle. And I'm going to be uh, picking mostly might, I believe, because I'm also going to run up here and get the silver ring so we can get more area and effect, which is going to translate to damage. And, of course, area, so these explosions are bigger, which is going to be absolutely insane. Let's try to get our invulnerability back before we uh, get to that ring, because otherwise that guy might be a little insane. I realize we just walked back into this trap, but that's okay. There we go. Grab this. Let's get the Rent Vazo Arcana while we're here because I see this little guy. There we go. Let's get Might for now. Um, the other one I was thinking since the amount here doesn't really translate to much is... Awake's not really going to do much without the... Uh, Tiragisu, I believe. The Blood Astronomia might do a little something, but I'm guessing since we only have the Magnet, it's not going to do much. And we don't have much amount either. So let's get the Lost and Found painting since we also get plus duration, which translates to damage, I believe. And then keep getting Might. believe it was decluttering a bit there, which is good for us. Bunch of level ups again, which is more area and damage. And here we go. Let's take him out while we have the chance. There is silver ring up from the chest. This should get us the egg, which if you couldn't tell I have quite a bit of because I've been attempting this a few times. At 10,000 kills, which isn't bad considering 
all things and we're not having too much curse right now. I am going to try to get the 100,000 kills before going off the edge because I'm not sure exactly what's waiting for me there. And this should be ring maxed out. It might. Sorry, I have to clear my throat every once in a while. Allergy meds are not working again. And a bunch of levels. Level 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. What would I shuffle is getting up there. Just from Limit Break, it's almost got as much damage as, uh... Oh, there it's uh, the uh, Golden Egg. It's got as much damage as the Spinach, which is amazing. We got enough area from the silver ring. It might get a little more crazy just every once in a while picking up more area, but I don't think that's going to be the smartest move, all things considered. We want to ride these invincibilities as much as we can. Let's get this chest up here if we can. There we go. Not that I was expecting much out of it, but every chance for a candy box is a chance for a candy box. There's another invincibility. Alright, this might be a little more difficult. I know these things have a little more health, which is why I've been stacking the damage. And look at that flamethrower. Didn't realize that also stacked with area. It's forcing us to take a few areas. Alright, we're out of invincibility. That's not the greatest. But this is keeping them at bay at least, which is something. Right. A few more fast moving things in there, but they slowed down a little bit. Let's get this health while I can. More might. There's a boss on me. Don't want to take too many hits from that one. Alright, these guys are a little difficult. There's my one revive, that's not good. And a quad, or a five? I think that's a quad, no, quad's four. And candy box, what would be good for this? We want something that can evolve, though King Bible might be good in this case because Unholy Vespers would keep them out of our range, hopefully. Oh no.
There we go. In Bible again. Let's try to get this to max before we uh, pick up that chest. Alright, don't need duration, so might. I'm trying to get to that chest, but it's not letting me. There we go. So there's advanced candy box. I think for this one, I'm going to take the festive wind so I have a chance at healing myself and reducing everything's um, defense. I was originally only going to take one weapon for this, but that's fine. Just so I have a chance of living. Might of that, might area. Need. Probably gonna hit random always once I evolve the unholy vespers. But that's gonna take a hot minute. area of that random ozo I needs over there let's grab this so the thing about that is now it opens up a few random ozo choices for me that otherwise were kind of blonde from here so all right yeah random always because from here it doesn't matter too much. Now I can take Twilight Requiem, which gives me... Actually, that's not the greatest because damage is affected by Curse, which I don't really have. So let's see what else we can get. I mean, I'll take that just so I can get more healing, I suppose. And we're at 50,000, or 49 rather, about to be 50. So we're well on our way. I don't think we can get another candy box, but I see another chest. We're gonna go for it. There we go. I'm just gonna... I kind of see the grid ending there, so we're going to keep going south. There's a gold fever. Not sure that's going to get me too much, but we'll find out. Oh, jeez. And I kind of see the grid ending there. Let's get this chest just in case. And I guess Unholy Vespers can get an amount bonus? That's interesting. There's a pickup around here, which might be good for us. There we go. Yep, that was a lot of level ups. We're at 58,000. I'm going to keep this going just because, like I said, I want that 100,000. Trying to complete a few things at once. Invulnerability, we're gonna take advantage of that. Just run around like a crazy person. I mean, he kind of is that crazy person right now, but we're not judging.
doing this is going to get a little bit harder because we're fighting basically bosses now. But this seems like it's going to slow down considerably. Yeah, we're we're not really even touching them. Oh, bats are uh, getting a lot faster. Okay. So what happens at the 30 minute mark on Endless? Do we go into a new loop or does it get even harder? I can buy another revival just in case. That might be uh, a good plan. Oh, now it starts over with these bats. Interesting. Well, that was kind of interesting. I know this is going to go on for a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but if I can get that 100,000, I'm going to be happy. I know this isn't the, like, quote-unquote initial way of getting it, but it's a way. Now, I'm kind of curious to know if getting this will uh, count, <laughs> or if I have to go back to Gallo Tower farming. I'm uh, going to go a little insane if I get another 99,000 in Gallo Tower. What happens when we do the bosses? Nothing at all. Alright. So it just kind of becomes easy mode after the 30 minutes, which is kind of funny considering it was getting to be hard mode up until then. So I guess I could see this being like a... Uh, golden egg farm if you really wanted it to be. <laughs> Just farm the money for the golden eggs and go in and buy them. I keep seeing duration up by 100% like they don't have enough duration. We're at 78. Where I just heard something. All right. 80. 81. 2. We're getting there. And then we can figure out this whole go off the edge thing. If I'm still able to do that. And, uh, endless. I'm not sure that's a thing. That has to be a whole nother subject. I do find this flamethrower area kind of entertaining. <laughs> Seems a lot bigger than normal to me.
88. 90. And invincibility again, not like they could touch me. I'm curious to know how this would fare against the uh, 30 minute mark again because of all the uh, limit breaks. At this point, we're just covering the screen with everything. That middle blast takes up almost the entire screen on its own. That's almost the edge of the map right there. 97. Ninety-eight. We're getting there. Ninety-nine. And possibly one hundred thousand. We'll see if that works. Now let's see if we can run off the edge of the map. Well, I wonder how far below we have to go. Sorry if you saw a little blip there, had a phone call that I had to take care of. But that also gave me a chance to see that there is less of a... Less of a... I'm sorry, I can't speak anymore. Less of a grid over here. So we're going to head more to the west instead of the south to see if that gets us anything. I'm just going to leave most of that stuff behind. I don't really mind leaving it. He did hit level 200. And what in the unholy hell is this? What in the unholy hell? You know, I, I took my headphones off so I wouldn't have to do other things, but now I kind of want to hear this. What did I just do? Um, is it, is it okay to exit now? I'm going to keep going this way just in case. And it looks like we've totally gone off the grid now, so uh, I think I did the thing. So shall we see if I did indeed get everything I was aiming for? I think I actually have to quit out of this mode. And my enter key is no longer working. Interesting. Right? Defeat 100,000 enemies in a single run with many a moon spell done. The most adverse fate in Green Acres run off the edge of the world. Unlocked Missing N. So it's a dead reaper? Okay. So, 255,000 to unlock him. Holy, cannot be damaged, but disappears after reaching the current time limit. Starts with the hidden 108 Baki. Cannot be damaged, but disappears after reaching the current time limit. 
don't know what that means. And 339,000 for this character. So it looks like he has a few uh, things too. But I, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Death Spiral or something else. So interesting. I'll have to uh, find the money to buy those characters later. But we'll get to them next time. We still have a few unlocks to get, including Inverse Ma at Forest, Inverse Gallo Tower. I still need to unlock Bat Country, and the other secrets I need are find the only flowers in Bone Zone. I have an idea of this tiny bridge, but after reading this, I actually have a different idea, so I think I have to unlock this before finding the tiny bridge. So. Or nearing the end. Hope everyone's been having fun with these. I certainly have, but that's all for now. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.